This is the grand finals, ladies and gentlemen. Luminosity is facing off against Sodi in a best of three to crown themselves champions. It looks like we're attempting to hang Soldier 76. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Well done, boys. As we get ready to hop into game number one. Ten seconds to go on Dorado. Enigma Pooks, God, Seagull, Esper, and Milo versus Grim Reality, Nomi, Decop, Zoros, Jur, and Hype. Two, one, zero, and we're off. Seagull at the moment on top of the payload without too much of a care in the world. No big deal at the moment. It looks like I've uh, enabled some sort of different spectator mode. There we go. All fixed now. And uh, we're moving on towards the first point without too much in the way of harm. But I really want to be spectating Gods because Gods has been carrying like a beast all day today. And I want to see if Sodi are actually able to turn him off. Because they're going to need that, right? He found Symmetra. Didn't quite manage to get the kill, though. There's Junkrat. Decop goes down. Soros gets a contributing kill there, but not too much. Grim Reality is in the middle of playing a dogfight. We have the revive. Milo is coming out now. Not Enig uh, Enigma, rather, is right behind him. Not Enigma would be somebody else entirely. Trollala. And uh, there's a lot of longevity here on the other side of the payload uh, for Luminosity. And Nomi's going down as well. This is going to mean they get to the first point reasonably quickly here. And Decop once again goes down. This allows the payload to slot straight on into the point. We're at basically a minute and 17 seconds right now. Seagull is playing Roadhog. And he's going to be backed up by Esper. He's moving very, very far forward in the hopes of clearing a path for the payload early on. Jur has gone down now as well. This is actually proving to be a little bit of a difficult situation. Oh, and unfortunately, that's exactly what you should be doing to Roadhog, by the way. Even though he's healing up, as soon as he starts healing up, concentrate all your fire on him. And uh, generally speaking, that will allow you to take him out. So Sodi manage a first hold here. Zoros is going to be playing Widowmaker as well. That's particularly interesting because Gods is, well... He's a literal god, but he could actually be gods unto himself. He has been doing fantastically. So far this game, he's had a couple of kills, but he hasn't exactly wiped the floor with the enemy team just yet. We're still looking for that to potentially happen. Uh, in the meantime, Soros is aiming to make sure that doesn't happen, and we have the Widowmaker v. Widowmaker battle. Oh, hang on a second. Never mind. Gods has gone ahead and put that one to sleep. Decop is getting taken out in the meantime as well, and this is the gods we knew and love when we were casting Luminosity earlier. This is proving to be very, very effective indeed. And dear, oh dear, we're reaching the second checkpoint now. And it is not even three minutes into the map. This is a very, very painful push coming out here. Decop now switching over to Roadhog himself. Zoros, oh, again! Every single time I switch on to Zoros, he gets picked off by gods. I basically need to stop doing that. It's kind of a lesson learned from here. He looks for uh, Nurchio. Nurchio? Oh, God. He was in the finals early today. He looked for Lucio, is what I meant to say. And gods manages to pick that off as well. Ho, ho, coming out now. Grim Reality getting a little bit of a reality check onto Poops there. And that's actually really annoying because a source of healing from Lucio is no longer available to Luminosity on this side of the map. But gods at the moment is just an absolute machine. I'm looking at Zoros. He hasn't no gotten taken out by gods, which is a good thing. No one can hide. But uh, gods at the moment has recon visor. In fact, both teams have recon visor out. And they're looking for each other. The Widowmakers know that they're basically playing a duel against each other. And Zoros is not afraid to take that engagement, which is fantastic. But we're still looking for where that's going to be the most possible. At the moment, Sodi are hanging on, but they're hanging on. Three minutes and 49 seconds in, basically at the end of the map already. I don't even know how this happened. When I'm moving up, up top. Seagull is on Reaper, which is kind of interesting. It's going to be difficult for him to sneak in and get close enough. He's looking for Roadhog. Wow, he's actually going to be hopping in and trying to deal the damage to the face. I guess you might as well. Decop goes down as well with the help of Zarya. And now we have Reinhardt in this room. I bet he wasn't expecting that. But a Seagull will be able to uh, potentially take that down. We have got a uh, Lucio ult, though, coming the way of Sodi, preventing the damage from being done temporarily as the Sand Barrier gets activated. 
Grim Reality unable to quite finish that off. And as a result, the rest of Luminosity continue uh, to be a feature here. God's now off to one side. Surely the other team are wondering where he's at. And wow. Luminosity managed to push in. I believe that was 4 minutes and 39 seconds. I will do a quick double check. And Gods does get play of the game as well. The cast of curse is real, folks. Meow. And then here we go. Plonk. That's not bad at all. Four minutes and 38 seconds. Let's go ahead and plonk that into the amazing timer button thing. And swap the teams over. We are ready for half number two. So we have swapped things around. Luminosity are now in the position where they're trying to defend. And defending against a team that has to complete the map in 4 minutes and 38 seconds or less. That's quite powerful here. Pooks is on Symmetra. Esper once again is on Mercy. Enigma on Roadhog. Seagull. Ooh, this is going to be a joy to watch. Is on Junkrat. Gods is God. And he's also on Widowmaker, by the way. And Milo is going to be Reinhardt. And they'll be facing off against Sony, who look like they've more or less picked their team comp. Jur on Lucio. Hype is picking up Mercy. Zoros once again is on Soldier 76. Grim Reality, I've seen him on McCree all day, every day. Nomi will pick up the reins as Reinhardt once again. And D-Cop this time around is going to be going for Winston. Or is he? He's changing. There we go. D-Cop going for Genji. Ooh. So I'm going to start on Gods. And I'll then... <laughs> As he plays a little bit of football. He's actually... He's nowhere close at the moment, is he? Right, let's go ahead and check out Genji. Here we go. The countdown has begun. Four minutes and 38 seconds. They need to deliver this payload. And Sodi at the moment. Hunting for sentry turrets. Doing a good job. Whereabouts is God? There we go. He's around the corner. Looking for potential targets. Sony's coming in from behind now by the looks. Is he going to go up the yellow wall? That's like the normal place for Genji to where he is. And the Venom Mine gets triggered. And therefore, Gods will know he's there. And he's immediately hunting around for him. Now. Oh, Jesus. Well, that didn't take very long, did it? Uh, Gods, I don't know what this guy had for breakfast, but I want it. That's all I'm going to say. Must have been a good hearty full English. I'm not hungry at all. Don't worry about it. Right. Let's take a look at Enigma in the meantime. A little bit closer to the frontline action. And see what he has to say. At the moment, it's a little bit all quiet, actually. Zoros is just uh, providing some covering fire. Ooh, Rhinoid actually gets bounced out of the way, so it does need to be careful. Genji is up top. Decop is waiting to see if there's any opportunity uh, to do some extra damage. We'll spot Roadhog there. Needs to be a little careful, though. Oh, hang on. Yeah, that's right. Roadhog and uh, Junkrat. Potentially a fatal combination. Seagull uh, looking to get a couple of people and does get Nomi and Decop both with his rip tire. Zoros goes down just as he uses his tactical visor, unfortunately, so he's unable to make the most of that. Oh, Grim Reality almost gets taken out by what would have been an absolutely sick snipe from Gods. Really, really good. And Decop once again gets taken out there. Uh, Gods is hunting for McCree. He's looking for McCree. He's looking for Grim Reality. There should be a little bit of health potentially there. And damn, absolutely nothing escapes this guy. Now, what can Sodi do in response? Soros is continuing uh, to do a very good job of providing so much damage and so much cover fire. But there just hasn't been any ability of Sodi to move into this position. And that's really what the problem is for them against Luminosity is. They're at 2 minutes and 20 seconds right now, and they still haven't capped the first point. Is it still possible? Yes, it is, but it's only barely possible out right now. And here comes the push-in. You get a nice aerial view there from Gods. He's looking for potential targets. He won't be able to find any, though, because Seagull and Enigma between them appear to be ripping everything up. There's a flashbang, actually, but it doesn't actually take him out. Enigma so close to death using his heal. Taking out Zoros as well. That's going to be heartbreak, actually, for the Sodi team. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Even Zarya on the brink of death there after that brutal hook. And here comes Enigma with the whole hog. 
everyone getting pushed back. Nomi actually getting taken out as well. So very, very strong ultimate picking off the tank too. One minute and 36 seconds left for them to complete the entirety of the map. I think Luminosity are going to be able to full hold. This is ridiculous. I mean, what else can they do here? Let's take a look. They have an awful lot of uh, ultimates available. Soros has got Tactical Visor. Grim Reality has got Deadeye. But the push has to happen now, and then Luminosity all basically have to disconnect. I'm not really sure that's going to happen. There's the Graviton Surge. There goes the Graviton Surge, rather. Decop using his ultimate, trying his best to concentrate as much fire as possible. And Hype is dead. Soros is dead. Grim Reality is All three of them had ultimates available. That is more or less going to be that. We are down to 50 seconds remaining until Luminosity officially take Dorado as the first no map. What a powerful first map this has been, and what a massive statement of intent for Luminosity. Uh, this has just been absolutely superb, and they're really stamping their authority on this match so far. Sodi have got to come up with something pretty special to beat Luminosity in the second game. Oh, almost hooking McCree. They're doing a good job of that. Decop now moving up with Winston. Enigma going to have to bail out. And at the moment, God still just patiently sitting out back going, yep, no problem. I Don't even mind me. I'm just going to sit here slowly racking up My kills. And he's been doing a tremendous job, right? We have all the ultimates available once again. But unfortunately, it's down to five seconds left. And there's absolutely no way now uh, that Luminosity are going to lose map number one. So uh, there is time. Looks like they're going to be fighting it out anyway to see if they can actually uh, go ahead and prevent this from happening in the first place. Here comes the Riptire. Well, Riptire doesn't do too much, but there aren't that many people close to the payload right now. Hype goes down anyway. And uh, Zoros looks like he got hooked out of there. Enigma in on Roadhog will be able to do an awful number. Let's check him out as well. Grim oh, unfortunately, the concussive mine uh, prevents the uh, absolute <laughs> little bit of uh, spinach dancing there from Decop, and they know it. Luminosity wins map number one on Dorado. Congratulations to them. <laughs> That's a great intro. Here we go. Rip tire causes rip. Single handedly forcing the resurrect there by killing three people. So let's see, this is Lijang Tower. It is not a payload map. It looks like uh, Sodi are mixing up a little bit to see if we can get uh, these guys out of their comfort zone. And here we go. We're moving on out. Gods is on Soldier 76 this time around. Seagull is on Genji. Enigma is on Trey. So this is going to end up being an all-out brawl. Decop is on Zarya. Grim Reality still on McCree. Nobody's changing that, that's for sure. And Enigma is getting a lot of damage done at the moment. The control point not unlocking for another 10 seconds. At the moment, Sodi are definitely uh, resident on the control point. Doing an awful lot of damage, I have to say, is this Tracer, but actually no kills just yet. And here comes the control point right now. Tracer doing an almost continuous stream of huge amounts of damage. If he's able to hop in and stick his Pulse Bomb off, that's going to be fantastic. Sodi, though, are the first ones able to capture the control point. Nomi at the moment on Roadhog, providing an excellent massive body on there. Oh, and Enigma gets hooked into the abyss. I mean, killed off before, you know, she can fall or anything, but that was pretty sick. Oh my god, Nomi, you beast. That is a double hook. The second one on Seagull as well. Snap. Oh, snap. That was positively delicious from the Roadhog player. And a third hook onto Milo, except Zarya is not going to be so easy to put down. Nomi has just been absolutely on point. Very, very nicely played. Here is the whole hog. What is God's going to be able to do with his tactical visor if whole hog is hitting him? Well, the answer is both teams are going to shoot the heck out of each other and no one's actually going to win by the looks of things. God's now. Let's go ahead and take a look at his team moving in because it looks like they might be able to get some leeway in here very, very soon. Decop goes down. That is a big influence on Zarya as well. Oh, and Jer, the support player, goes down too. So no Lucio is going to be slightly annoying. Hype! 
Hype going down on Mercy is actually huge, but we have got Graviton Surge coming down now on the part of Decop. Um, Decop's actually really far offside, and he gets taken down now as well. This potentially could be a point turner uh, for Luminosity here. 72% in favor of Sodi, but they have now relinquished control of the point. Are Luminosity going to be able to fight it back? I'm taking Let's take a look at Seagull on Reaper, looking for a way in. Oh, he's looking for it, he's looking for it. Enigma is looking for Okay, hang on, there's a Graviton Surge. And here is the Death Blossom. That counts as a triple kill. Seagull and Gods combined. Uh, managing to basically pick off most of the team there. And this does take the uh, control point to 30% now uh, for Luminosity. Still comfortably behind though as the other team chooses to regroup. Soros there with Death Blossom. That's not particularly useful until you actually get right in amongst them though. And Decop is very far away from having Graviton Surge. Only Soros and Hype at the moment with uh, ultimates available. So we need to be very, very patient here. As things currently stand, there's not an awful lot they can do with only two or three of their players. They need all six to try and collapse in on this. And there's a massive hook. Nomi goes down. Seagull goes down in return, managing to pick off the Reciprocal Reaper there. But I think that was a Resurrect. Milo gets taken out. That's pretty big. Uh, Zarya is such a huge body in the way on the point. Enigma now. Oh dear, that's a pulse bomb. And it just about manages to save everything. Uh, because Lucio managed to get his sound barrier up in time. So the point has flipped, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and take a look at what Enigma can do about this on Tracer. This could potentially be a first point uh, in favor of Sodi. We're almost certainly going to be reaching 99% here. Whether or not we go into overtime and Luminosity are able to flip it is going to... Well, we're going to find that out in just a second. Gods gets taken out. Zoros gets taken out. Hype is going to have a res available. Uses it straight away. And there's no longevity on the point. Esper is the only player alive right now. And wow, Luminosity are going to lose point number one. So guess what, guys? Sodi are coming back and fighting with a vengeance. So Sodi potentially can close out Li Jiang Tao right now and make it 2-0 in, uh, in this second map, in this best of five. We'll see if they're able to do it. Let's go ahead and watch Grim Reality. Coming out with that Lucio support, of course, both teams rushing out as quickly as possible. Let's see what Sodi can do here. They're going the back way, straight into the uh, dojo, the temple bit. Milo on Zarya, immediately putting the shields up. That is an excellent flashbang, by the way. He gets taken up by Seagull, recognizing the threat straight away and just focusing that down, which is exactly what he should have been doing. Control point unlocking in a couple of seconds. Grim Reality still the only fatality on that side. Uh, Enigma popping back now as well. Decop going down as Zarya is potentially an issue. Nobby as well a little bit far away from the action. And I have to say, Sony feels just a little bit spread out as things currently stand. So Luminosity should be able to gain some sort of an advantage out of this. And they have indeed got the point first. So there we go. We need to see another group up before we're moving on. Zoros actually being left behind just a little bit. And here we go. Gods at the moment trying to disrupt the momentum. Looking for players. Finds players. Gets hype. He gets hype. Get it? Get it? Oh dear. But no Mercy player actually on the side of Sony is going to be slightly frustrating right now. Especially since uh, there was Resurrect available. So this is going to be another team wipe. And we're going up to 40% on this map now uh, for Luminosity. Very, very powerful stuff. Milo in the meantime has Graviton Surge ready. As Zarya, there are plenty of places you can potentially use it. Uh, that was actually an opportunity just now because the team was relatively pumped up. But opting not to do that as well. The reciprocal Zarya on Decop goes down. And Rodor comes so close to actually killing off Zarya, but he won't be able to. And Nobby goes down as well. This is close to a full team wipe. We're now up to 65% uh, 
for Luminosity, and they are absolutely bossing this second point after losing the first one to Sodi here. This feels like a completely different team. Like Sodi beating them on one particular point, all it did was make them mad. There's the Graviton Surge. And there is a Zarya Shield up defensively as well against that. Both sides with the Graviton Surge. And there is a... Zoros unable to really make it stick, unfortunately, with the Death Blossom. We continue spectating Milo, who has been doing a fantastic job. We have the uh, first Resurrect for Esper in this particular battle. Hype is going to be joining in in just a second. In fact, let's go ahead and check out uh, the Mercy View. Well, well, the Mercy View is not particularly pleasant right now as he goes out. Seagull now going for a little bit of, uh, well, I guess it's like Reaper's equivalent of Flash and Fan. Popping in, the opposing Reaper unable to take the point on time, and as a result, Luminosity are one all right now against Sodi. So whoever captures this third point wins the second map on Li Jiang Tower. I will protect the innocent. So let's see if Sodi can take the game to uh, Luminosity here, because to be perfectly Justice. honest, so far, uh, the first point was really, really good and really close, but the second point was all Luminosity. It was 100% there. So we need to do a little bit better than that. Let's see. Decop is actually switching on to Farah for this particular point. System check initiated. Green across and we have a, uh, and a little bit of a potential shortcut coming in there. Seagull moving in, though, straight away uh, with Mercy helping with the damage boost. And uh, right now, he's at, he's doing an awful lot of damage, and Decop's actually dead. So this aerial dominance can potentially go unanswered here. We need the likes of Grim Reality, uh, who are basically hit scan to try and deal with Afara. But you can see that Seagull is doing such a good job of prioritizing those hit scan heroes that they don't really have an opportunity to do that. All right, we're now moving into the bottom bit. Seagull desperately trying now uh, to get back up. Will successfully do so. So he's back up to full health. Both far is now airborne. Decop trying to get as much damage done as he can. But God's is doing a great job of basically hunting him down. And, uh, oh wow, as soon as I say that, Gods die. So maybe I can influence this game after all. Enigma coming back in as Reaper as well. Seagull still continuing to be up above. Oh my god, that was a sick mid-air shot from D uh, Seagull onto Decop as well. So Seagull is really on fire at this point. Decop needs to do something about it. Nomi now uh, on Reinhardt, swinging away, trying to get back into the room. And to be fair, the team have actually retaken the control point, but they're fighting mostly off of it right now. Nice flashbang onto Seagull there from Grim Reality. He dies, but immediately gets resurrected from Hype. And actually, a lot of places here are reasonably... Oh, not quite able to get Mercy. He was looking for that on the bottom of his screen. And Gods right now, he's looking to go boss mode. They want to reclaim the point. Luminosity will be able to do so. They're basically at 30 to 35% each right now. Uh, this is a very, very close uh, point number three, but with the momentum in Luminosity's favor as things currently stand. Uh, there are three ultimates available on the side of Sodi, just the one Zarya available on the part of Luminosity. So a Sodi potentially able to make a game of it here, but they need to go ahead and recontest this point. Oh dear. And there goes the Graviton Surge. Zoros having to use his uh, Wraith form to move out of the way. That unfortunately doesn't help him do too much. And it looks like a full team wipe on the part of Sony now from Luminosity. And that's dangerous because they're now at 70%. It's basically one push left to retake the point. Or, unfortunately, that's it. Luminosity, after going 1-0 behind, will end up 2-1 ahead. And therefore take Lee Jang Tower as a map and go up 2-0 in this grand final. Will they be able to do that? 85% coming up now uh, on the capture point. The entirety of Zodi's coming in. We also have the Lucio ultimate available. Both sides actually going with Sound Barrier. There's a little bit of a die, die, die right now. It is not actually Enigma. It's Soros. And Enigma reciprocates the favor. And he ends up killing two or three people. Nobby going down as well. And that is going to be that. Luminosity 
are able to take the third and final point here in King of the Hill. And as a result, they will take the map Li Jiang Tower and go 2-0 up in this best of five series. Enigma taking play of the game here as Reaper. Where it's not expected. Right. I will shield you. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. There comes the door. They're all going out the right hand side now. As Sodi looks to try and overturn a 2 0 deficit against Luminosity here by setting a very, very quick, potentially competitive time here on Hollywood. Sentry turrets being incredibly annoying as well. Grim Reality not able really to get much of a word in though just yet because he has to go off and heal. Oh, and they need to be careful going into here because Junkrat is doing an awful lot of damage. That would be Seagull indiscriminately raining on the opposition right now. And he will be uh, absolutely correct in assuming that that's exactly where the enemy has been coming in. A good use, by the way, of that uh, remote mine. Soros and Nomi are going to go down. Oh, and Pook's actually going to kill him with the sentry turret as well. I'm not sure about this rip tire timing. I don't really think they needed that, to be honest. I think Seagull might have wasted, unfortunately, that ultimate just a little bit. Let's take a look at gods. We haven't really seen too much of gods in the keel field yet, but that could just about change. Or not. Very, very close there, and uh, these guys must be counting their lucky stars right now. Managed to find Pook's sentry turret underneath the car. Incredibly annoying locations, actually, that uh, Pook's was managed to uh, put out there. And we have got a teleporter online. It looks like he's going to be making uh, that go up in the uh, higher floor, which I like, on the Wild West section. Still going to be pretty quick for our heroes to get back and defend here. But also don't forget that reset as soon as the capture point is in. So we need to make sure this doesn't get captured for that teleport to be the maximum use. Hype goes down as well. And Luminosity are doing a very good job of defending so far, it has to be said. Now, over on the other side, actually Sodia grouping up and they're getting ready for another round. There is potential. Uh, for this to work, but they have to be able to make it work uh, in conjunction with each other. Wow, I was not expecting that. Gods, what were you doing? This is unbelievable. No one is safe anywhere from this guy, and all of a sudden the plans that Sodi might have had, they all just got reset again. Gods has been absolutely instrumental in Jesus disrupting the potential plans of his opponents. And... Spotting the opposing uh, Widowmaker as well, because Decop has actually switched on to him. Let's go ahead and look at this from Decop's point of view. He's looking for it. He can't find it. This is just brutal coming out of Luminosity. This could end up being a full hold. We'll wait and see. There's the hook. Where is it? Where is it? Uh-oh. He's falling the wrong side. He's falling the wrong side. He's definitely the wrong side now. He's somehow still alive, and Lucio with his ultimate coming on in. Oh, and he picks off gods. Okay, that was actually a really crucial kill. Because now that uh, now that gods is no longer there, the massive amount of damage picking off two or three heroes at a time that he had from up above doesn't exist anymore. But he managed to get back there very quickly thanks to the teleport, so I completely forgot about that. And unfortunately, while that duel was going on Seagull, uh, was actually in the middle of completely and utterly disrupting that and saying, actually, mate, you know what? I'm taking this kill. God's doing the uh, weird sort of... Uh, I don't know how I'd really describe it. Like the crouchy, crouchy, I'm in the middle of having a seizure kind of action that makes headshots that much more difficult. One minute left to go before Objective A is completely and utterly... Uh, just held, really. Oh, chat, thanks for following Pooks when he plants those things. Of course, man, at the start of the game, it's super important to follow Symmetric. Glad you enjoyed that. I'm doing my best 
I'm observing, I'm casting, and I'm doing production, but hopefully not too many balls have been dropped. Right, now Seagull continuing. Seagull's plan at this point is just to put as much uh, damage onto the opponent as possible on the grounds that if he's able to wipe them one more time, they basically die. Uh, I don't think they need to go in for the desperation play just yet. Here is the Resurrect. Let's take a look at Zoros. Is he going to be able to make anything happen? If he is, uh, a, a good Reaper play is always a joy to watch, but it doesn't look like there's awfully much going on right now. What about Decop? Decop is dead. What about Zoros? Well, I'm not really sure. Let's take a look at the Riptire. Where's the Riptire coming out? There's Zoros. And there's Mercy! It's not even going to be required. A full hold on Hollywood for Luminosity means that on offense, if they are able to push to the first checkpoint, they will win the entirety of the Grand Finals. Alright, so they're all sitting back waiting for this particular point by the looks of things. We have the final Sentry Turret. Well, it's going to get placed somewhere else. I'm going to take a look at the potential Seagull Esper combination because I think he's going to get damage and go over the wall. Let's wait and see. There's Seagull, ladies and gentlemen, and this is potentially the last half of the last map. Where's, C oh, where's Esper? Oh, there we go. There's the damage up from Esper. We're waiting for Seagull to potentially boost over. Is he going to do that? Still patiently waiting. Hang on a second. That's Gods. Gods wants a piece of that action. He's going over the wall long before anyone else does. We'll see if he's able to get some purchase power on this. Seagull now has to go the other side. He's not going over by the looks of things, but he is hanging around behind the Reinhardt shield, looking to pick this team off very methodically. And if they're able to do that even once, then they will successfully win the map, uh, win the match, and win the entire tournament. And at the moment, this is looking pretty good. Soldier 76 with Tactical Visor, but I able to get anybody. Zoros right now looking for a couple of hits. Not able to find it. And Objective A right now is on the brink of being captured. It does get captured. There's the GG. Game, set, and match to Luminosity, ladies and gentlemen. They win the grand final by a scoreline of 3-0. Oh, a dominant performance over Sony. Who did...